so I'm just really like getting up and that's why this looks the way it looks but I wanted to share with you all I got I trimmed my own hair so about a year and a half ago I went and I got a professional trim done on straightened out hair and it looked really really great insert pick here however as it began to grow out I really really was not feeling the way it looked as it was growing out and it also seemed like it was growing I felt almost like my growth was really slower than it normally was I don't know why that is but anyway it kind of made me really hesitant to trim my hair again and I know you shouldn't hold on to, to scraggly dry ends but I just wasn't ready to go get a trim and then when I was ready to get a trim and a shaping I was gonna go to Diva Sean because I know someone specifically there who I know will trim it the way I want but then you know that price tag is $250. So I even considered going to Mold Nose Hair. I made an appointment. I was ready to go. I was like, oh, I'm just going to charge it, which I do not recommend you do that to just get your hair trimmed. Just, I, hold on to the split ends. Don't go in debt. But that's a whole nother topic. Anyway, so I, she canceled my appointment because I guess her schedule changed. And then I, I guess that was a sign from God. Do not put your hair trimming thing on credit card. So I never made another appointment and finally I was looking at a video by um, a young lady on here god I'm blanking on her fusions of culture she would trim her own hair and I said you know that doesn't look that difficult to do it may not give me like the best results but it'll do it'll eliminate the split ends it'll eliminate you know this this the dry ends and it, my styles will look a little better. And then, you know, when I get my $250, I can go to get my hair trimmed professionally. Yes, it does cost that much out here when you go someplace where it's a natural hairstylist like Mono's Hair and Diva Sean. That, that just is, it is what it is. And I'll pay it once I have cash. I wanted to show you all what it looks like now. I did cut a sign more significant amount in the front, but I made sure it was even. And I'm going to take these out because I actually have to moisturize my hair. So, my hair is, um, the you know, it actually grew more in the center than I expected it to. And that was surprising to me. I didn't expect it to have grown that much in the middle. I guess because the shrinkage and everything, it just, you know, it, um, but see, like, it was armpit length before. I mean, it's, it's almost back to armpit length. So, I cut about, I cut about an inch. It's just that the end, they feel so much nicer. So, so much nicer. Okay, so. Here's where it's at. Even taking the twist out, look how I can just, they don't get stuck on the ends. Like, if I did that before, no matter if I twist it evenly or not, they would just get stuck on the ends and I risk ripping them. But they are really in good condition. I blow dried my hair. Um, on a really warm dryer using the tension blow dry method, which is where you hold the ends and run the dryer up and down. I did it that way versus cutting my hair curly because when you cut it curly or you cut it wet, you know, you if, unless you're really a professional at it, you do risk your hair being looking much more uneven and because of the shrinkage and everything. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to retwist everything. I'm actually going to break apart the sections because I think I want to twist differently this time but the hardest thing is when you look at the back of your head and you realize oh snap zizzle you cut it uneven <laughs> uh, I've had that experience which is another reason why I hesitated to trim my own hair but I did follow the exact steps that I saw Fusions of Culture do her hair I think her name is Layla. Yeah, her name is Layla. It's such a pretty name. But anyway, I did follow that and I'm hoping the back of my hair is even. And and not even, but you know, that if all falls together, because my hair is not even, it's never going to be even. I've, that dream, <laughs> that dream is, is dead. It's never going to be even. It doesn't grow even. The top grows a lot slower than the back and the front. And so... It is what it is, but taking all this out, so I'm trying to extend it to the point where you can see 
everything. I've got nice little waves, though. I might actually wear this out. I don't know. We'll see. But it, it falls nicely in the front. Now, let's see what the back is looking like. So that's where it's at. <laughs> I don't know if it's even, you all know if it's even when you see this video. I'm just, whatever. I just need to get rid of scraggly ends and then I'm going to go in the summertime to cut it. But, let me check you out. Let me, but here are the scissors that I use. Purchased these on Amazon. These are actually the same scissors that Layla, Layla uses and they are sharp. I do like them. And they're pretty. So, these are my shears. I love that it came with this carrying case because in the past when I purchased scissors, they didn't have a case. I think that's part of the reason why they got dull or, or just, you know, I never wanted to use them on my hair again because I, they just wound up in a drawer somewhere, anywhere. But these come in a great little carrying case. And I will leave a link down in the description box below to where you can get this exact pair of scissors should you venture out and want to trim your own hair. Okay, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.